If you want to know what has been happening on your system recently, uh, you are going to like SAR, the System Activity Reporter. SAR can be used to obtain much information about different performance related parameters on your system, including networking. But before you can use SAR, you need to install it. Typically it comes from the SysStat package. So you need to install SysStat. The name of that package is the same and it doesn't matter if you are using it on Ubuntu or on CentOS. As a result in etc.cron.d you will find a file with the name SysStat. And this file has two lines that are used for data gathering. So there's a process SA1 and there's a process SA2. SA2 is for long term data gathering and that's happening once a day only. SA1 is for short term data gathering and that is happening every 10 minutes. So you either have to change this line or you need to make sure that you run the command manually or you need to wait for 10 minutes before you can see any activity here. I already prepared my other machine so we can continue on the other machine. And I want to show you the contents of var log because in var log you find a subdirectory with the name SA and in this subdirectory you'll find a file that has been created by the SA process to log data to. So if SysStat has been gathering data successfully, you can use the SAR command to figure out what has been happening. SAR dash n all is what you need. So as you can see, this is displaying information about what has been happening on all of your different network cards. And the interesting thing is that not the information that is displayed because that is about received packets, about transmitted packets and bytes and so on and errors and everything. The interesting thing about this is that you can see long term trending. And that's the most important thing about SAR. SAR is running every so many minutes. And because of that it will gather data over a longer period of time. So that you can see when exactly you have experienced the peak performance on your network which allows you to troubleshoot in a more efficient way. SAR-N is basically the command that is giving a very nice starting point. In here we can see just some statistics about transmits and receives. But even this can be interesting because it allows you to identify peak moments in your network performance. Maybe these moments matches with complaints of your users about bad network performance. So this helps you figuring out. Everything that you see here in the second part of the output is interesting in case things do go wrong. Because this is providing detailed information about statistics of packets that haven't been sent over successfully. And it continues down here as well. Read the man page of the SAR command to find out in detail what everything is about. SAR-N by any means is very useful for analyzing what's happening on your network. 